What do you think caused Tanaka to unravel a little bit in that fifth inning? Um, just, you know, uh, I just thought he made some mistakes with the slider tonight. Um, you know, the home run to Gritchick and then, and then to Galvis there, you know, couldn't put him away there. Uh, thought the split was better, and then they, but they strung some at bats obviously against him there uh, in the fifth uh, to get to him a little bit. But um, overall, I just, you know, some mistakes with the slider really cost him, and then we weren't able to score enough. He's been generally solid for you guys, despite a lot of the season not necessarily having yeah. his best stuff. Is it confusing to you that he's not kind of been able to, to put it all together like he typically has in the past uh, consecutively? No, because because I think, like you said, he's pitched really well overall. You know, I mean, the ERA is really good. Um, he's pitched deep in a lot of games. Uh, you know, and I thought an encouraging sign. I thought he threw a lot of good splits tonight. But, um, you know. You know, again, the home run ball hurt him on a couple of hanging sliders. That that, that was kind of the difference tonight. It's been a tough couple of days for Frazier. The Sunday night, the pregame stuff, where he said some things. Uh, to see him come out and hit a big home run like that, does that show you something about him? Uh, yeah, it was good to see. Um, you know, him come out and swing the bat well. Obviously, give us a lead there, and then another good at bat uh, later in the game where you know we had a, created a good opportunity to score with our first two guys on and just weren't able to get anything going so it was good to see him um, you know with with I know that all that's been out there the last couple of days to to have a focus and and to go up there and, and really focus on having good at bats which he did yeah yeah I mean that's it's it's one of those you know, obviously, ball in front of you, you got to see it through. But it's one of those: you, if you don't get a good read, then you can't score on the base hit. So it's a little bit of a tricky one. Obviously, not the right read there, and and, uh, and the fact that and then they were able to get him and, and did a really good job of turning it into a double play. So, um, yeah, mistake there. But it's one of those ones that, as a base runner, can be a little gray because you want to you want to do all you can to score on a. If a ball is going to be in the hole, you just got to be hyper aware of exactly where the fielders are and, and do your best to instinctively read the ball off the bat. It looked really close. Is there any consideration to challenging that play right there in that situation? Yeah. Uh, we, you know, we waited till the end on it. Um, so that told me it was probably pretty close, but, uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't got with um, Webby yet on exactly, uh, you know, but anytime we take it down the full allotment of time, you know, I know he's looking at it pretty closely.